If your marketing messages are being ignored and you're not getting responses or any activity, this might be the answer, this might help. Hi, this is George Free, and today we're gonna to be talking about relevance. Relevance in your marketing. Is it spot on? Is it targeted at the right person and being received at the right time? And this conversation came up while I was chatting to Professor Brandon Beliso from One Martial Arts in San Francisco. And we did an email campaign for them and we were looking at different emails going out and we spotted an email that was being sent that, that was not targeted at the right audience and it wasn't it wasn't framed right for the right segment in that list and we had a bit of a chat about relevance and so forth and i'm going to give you a few insights of what we've gathered from that conversation so firstly i mean look at when you look at your own marketing as such you know it's so easy to look at your Facebook page as one Facebook page, or if you have an email list and you're doing that type of marketing, you just look at the one email list, our list, as, as a single plural as such. But when you look at your Facebook page, I mean, it consists of individual people, individual people, different ages, different um, lifestyles, different interests, different everything. There's, different people all over this page. Same as your email list, look at your membership base. These are all individual people. Yes, they have one common interest of martial arts, but they have different interests in life and from different backgrounds and different culture, cultures and all these type of things. So you've got to be very conscious of how you send your message. Is it relevant to this person? And is it also relevant at the right time? Because there's a message of, hey, do you want to join our club? which is not really a conversation for a conversation opener. It's not the first thing you'd say to someone. It'd be, hey, how are you? How are you doing? How can we help you? What are you looking for? It'll be a different type of conversation. So you've got to, you've got to think of where is your message? Is it, relevant? is it relevant to the person, first and foremost? And then is it relevant at the right time? This is obviously easy to do in a face-to-face in -a -face conversation. When you're talking to someone, you can do all these things. You can assess who is this person, you can ask a few questions, and you can gather enough information that you can shape your conversation further. But when doing marketing, you've got to be conscious of these things, of how you put a message out and how it's going to be relevant to a person. Okay, so always bear in mind, first and foremost, I guess one key factor is one person is always looking at your marketing message. I see sometimes people write an email message and it's, hey, you guys, you guys, team, or something, but there's no team watching it, or there's no, there's no you guys listening. There's one person listening. It's a conversation between you and someone else or your brand and someone else. So bear that in mind. There's always one person listening and, and, and absorb, observing, <laughs> ob absorbing your information so speak to that one person directly all right and then the other factor of course is timing so your timing of that message is it coming at the right time now this can be easier said than done because if you've got a facebook page there's a lot of audience there's a lot of different people so you want to word things sometimes as when you're talking to everybody you're trying to get a certain person's attention you know you, you might want to phrase some phrase it in a way that if, if this is who you are, if, or if this is what you're interested in, then this and this might apply type of thing. Now, some people take a different approach to this and they say, all right, well, if I've got all these different people in my club, I'm gonna create a separate page, Facebook page, for every single audience. Now, honestly, to me, unless you've got a whole string of staff doing this stuff and loves technology, which the majority of people just don't, majority of school owners don't, and you don't have lots of time, majority of school owners don't, I, th I think this is a terrible idea. A terrible idea to be building your the front end of your brand and to be segmenting it into all these little, little different audiences. It sounds like a lot of hard work to me. <laughs> I find it hard enough to manage one page. I can't imagine, imagine, imagine having to manage five different pages for five different audiences. So, does this mean you shouldn't be segmenting? No, of course, and this is what this relevance topic is all about. But are you, are you segmenting at the right place? Social media is a way for you to get traffic to your offer and to your website. 
it's a, yes, it's about creating a, a conversation and having engagement and providing value to your audience. But at the end of the day, they don't join on Facebook. They join when they go to your website and send an online inquiry or buy a paid trial offer. Yes, they might send a message to a messenger, but the conversation always goes off either onto a website where they join something or on a one-to-one -on -one, one -one basis before that happens. So yes, use social media, use all these, all these social platforms to gather an audience, to create that one-on-one -on -one conversation or get traffic to your website. Once they are at your website or once they're in your database, meaning in your internal system, your CRM type software system, or you have an email database, then make sure that they are segmented properly and that you know, right, this person is interested in kids martial arts, this one is in fitness kickboxing, this one in jiu-jitsu, and you can segment people accordingly. And that way you can have those relevant conversations with people at the right time. I hope that helps. Keep things relevant. Make sure, just be aware of when you are talking to people. Is it at what time, at what stage of the relationship is it? And is it relevant to this person, their culture, their beliefs, their viewpoint on life and all the rest? Need any help with any of this type of stuff? Get in touch with us on martialartsmedia.com. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.